What's up my wonderful peeps? It's your boy Sports the Bone here again man. Keeping you informed as per usual. Shout out to all the viewers and subscribers. Yeah man. What's up my wonderful peeps? Yeah man, Sports to the Bone back at it again. We could talk some track and field now. So we see where the track and field world is now currently in search of a new sprint king. This after the American Christian Coleman was banned for two years or was suspended for two years. This ruling came down um, Tuesday of this week. Now the current 100 meter champion Coleman was provisionally suspended for three whereabouts rule violation. I think that he had amassed them in January, December and April. So that was three consecutive um, whereabouts violation. Now, in track and field, according to the IOC, which is the International Olympic Committee, uh, if athletes uh, miss three consecutive tests, then you know that is grounds for suspension. Now, based on what we are seeing here, uh, they would have double checked everything based on the fact that you would have missed three whereabouts tests, and they would have double checked everything, and you know they would have go through their meeting and all of that and they handed down that why the, the American is going to be suspended or you know he's going to be banned for two years. I mean this is my thing. If as an athlete if you don't have anything hiding then why not just turn uh, make yourself available? Because I mean we I know that it can be the case where the 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 uh, the testing agent the water agent turn up to your house at a specific time when you tell him to turn up and you probably had to rush out of the house or anything but if it is the case that they they give you ample time to say here what we want to be here at this time i think as a professional athlete it is down to you to make sure that you are present to 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 actually do the drug test and with this drug test it is within season and out of season so you can be on your holidays and they just turn up you understand? Say, for example, you, you tell them that you are going to be at X location at X time. If they turn up and you are not there, I guess they need to call. And if you don't report, then that is grounds for, 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 for saying, boy, you have missed a, a whereabouts test. So that is something that Christian Coleman, you know, he has been battling with things like this over his career thus far. And it is such a sad note to see that such a young talent is going to miss out two years of track and field. I mean, missing out two years of um, professional sports, it isn't as easy as it might sound. Because at the end of the day, it's not a dex job. Your body is actually, you are actually getting older every second of the day. So to actually miss out two years in your prime, it is not the best thing. And I mean, Jamaica isn't dominating the world of sport right now, but of sprinting right now, but where the males are concerned but at the end of the day he's a young athlete and, and we all want to see young athletes um athletes really come good and i mean this youngster was actually putting them some very good time we're talking about some 9.7 so it's actually sad to know that he's going to missing going to be missing out two years of his um young career at the end of the day being a professional athlete you have to make sure that you are well, I mean, you are in control of yourself and you are in control of what you do. So, you know, whatever the result is based on what you would have done, you have to, you have to take the repercussion because that is it. And, you, you know, I mean, you are, not, you are not an amateur, you are a professional athlete. This is what you are doing for a living. So, I am of the view that, you know, you have to be more vigilant as it regards to making sure that you don't miss any tests and all of that. You understand? That, that is basically how I see it. Now, it was actually the Athletics Integrity Unit, the AIU, that brought down the hammer on Cole's, um, Coleman's head because they are the ones that were reviewing certain things and, and so forth. Coleman will, however, have a period of 30 days to appeal this, um, this ruling. You know, he will have to come together with his lawyers and his managers and all of that and take it to CAS, that is the Court of Arbitration for Sport, to see if he can get the, the, the ruling overturned. And with two years, I mean, if, it, if, if the ruling is not overturned, two years will mean that he's going to miss the next Olympic, which is next year. So uh, to be the, 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 the 100 meter ch world champion and to not be able to um, participate in the, in the 100 meter event at the Olympics, that, you know, that, that cannot be a good feeling. 
and I am hoping that his team will be there for him because things like this can actually drive athletes into depression, you know, it, it, things like this will probably lead them to wanting to quit the sport, you know, and uh, there's a famous saying that, you know, with every, every setback you can bounce back better or something of a sort, but uh, two years, man, that's, that's going to be really rough to actually keep training and to keep motivated. I mean, he's a professional and he, he has been uh, competing at the highest level. So getting banned for two years, uh, it, it is just going to show his character. It is just going to show whether or not um, he's able to, to hold out. But two years is going to be a really long time to actually keep motivated and to say, hear what? I am going to keep pushing because I'm going to bounce back from this stronger. And, you know, he's, I think he's also the 60 meter world record holder. You know, he's also the world record holder for the 60 meter. So, you know, he's not only 100 meter champion, he has a record there. So, each time you miss out in a competition, you know, you are actually going down the pecking order because people is constantly going at your records, going at your time that you would have put down. So, it's actually really sad to know about. At the end of the day, every athlete, you have to, every athlete must take responsibility for their own action. And to miss three tests within a, 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 within a, 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 a set period of time, that, that, that just sounds fishy. I mean, if you don't have anything to hide, then why is it that you're going to miss three consecutive tests? Circumstances can lead you to miss a one test or a two test, but this is your career you're talking about and your reputation so you shouldn't be putting it on the line like that so it is left to see exactly what is going to happen and i mean remember now guys coleman barely managed to participate in the world championship last year because he was almost suspended based on the same um whereabout violation you know but he, he, he actually managed to beat it on a technicality you know so he, he actually was allowed to participate in the in the in the world championship too so to see something like this coming back to back um, at the forefront once more it's not a good look and you know it's it's only going to allow people to become suspicious because at the end of the day if you don't have anything hiding why is it that you're going to you're going to um going to to go to that lens to miss three tests within a, a, a within such a short period of time you know it's it's not not saying he's guilty of anything but at the end of the day being a professional athlete, you have to make sure that you are putting your best interests at heart. You can't play the reputation a certain way, you know, because I tell you this, in professional sports, if your name gets called with a particular banned substance, that is it. No matter how you bounce back and perform good, people are always going to associate you with, um, with that uh, banned substance or whatever it was. That your name was uh, that your name was tied to. So it's actually really sad to know that people have to be raising eyebrows and actually looking at him sideways to really see why is this youngster uh, missing so much wearable tests and all of that. But I want to tell you, you know, Coleman Coleman also went on to say right now he thinks uh, that it is actually a, a definite um, ploy to try and get him to miss uh, tests. Because when they turned up at his house in, in December, in Christmas, he was just around the corner um, buying Christmas gifts and all of that. You know, and, and, and the agent didn't follow protocol and procedure and all of that. But, you know, at the end of the day, the thing is, it is what it is. And, you know, a man going to come up with different excuses and all of that. But really sad to see, see what's happening with the, with the young athlete. But right now, we just have to wish the athlete all the best. Uh, it doesn't matter which country he's from. I mean, he's performing at a high level, a level where he's entertaining everybody. So we just want to hope that, you know, he will be able to bounce back quickly. Uh, the 30 day, he will have 30 days, as I said earlier, to actually appeal this thing at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. So it is not all dark and gloomy as yet because sometimes athletes are actually and then when they take it to, to, to the court of arbitration for sport, then they overrule it, you know, based on a technicality or, or whatever the case may be. So it is left to be seen what exactly is going to happen. But we are keeping a close eye on this one. And I mean, the, 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 the world of track and field, you know, it is actually under the microscope because uh, a couple of athletes, you know, especially in the, in the longer distance in marathon and, and the 10,000, I think it was a 15,000 or so the other day came under scrutiny based on some, um, some drug violation and all of that. So 
to, to actually see a, 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 a top athlete like Christian Coleman going down for something like this. It's not, it's not a good look. And, you know, us as, as sports people, we are hoping that everything will work out for the best if he's actually guilty of doing something or, well, I mean, the, the, the ban was handed down saying that he actually violated the, 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 the whereabouts rule. So if it is the case that he doesn't get off on a technicality, then that means he would have violated the, the rules. Then, you know, that simply means he, he, he def just definitely have to pray um, to, to actually pay the price. So, you know. Uh, it's going to be sad to know that one of the fastest, fastest athletes in the world right now is going to be missing out on the Olympics uh, next year if this thing is not overturned. But at the end of the day, we just have to keep our fingers crossed, watch and see what is going to happen within the next 30 days if, if he's going to appeal it and if he, if, he, if he actually appeal it, what is going to come out of it. But uh, that's, that's the, the news, guys. Christian Coleman is actually banned for two years and will more than likely be moving towards um, the court of arbitration for sport to see if he can get this overturned. Yeah, man, that's basically it. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment if you are not yet. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man, sports to the bone. I'm out.